Make no mistake, New Orleans is quintessentially unique in these United States. So it should come as no surprise that voodoo priestess Sally Ann Glassman is a regular fixture here at the beautiful boutique International House Hotel located just off the French Quarter. What is voodoo? Voodoo is a religion and it's a way of looking at and experiencing the world that recognizes that there's more to it than what we see on the surface. And what is voodoo to New Orleans and New Orleans to voodoo? Voodoo has been a part of New Orleans since the inception of the city. It's part of the fabric of our culture and our traditions. It's why New Orleans dances to a different drummer. Wow! And now you get to keep that with you. And if it gets all worn and tattered, it just means it's working for you. Yeah. You can tie it around your neck, you can put it on an altar, you can keep it in a purse. Yeah. But the more you handle it, the more it's yours. Okay. Thank you so much. After all that, lady needs a drink. <laughs> Mwah. From one spiritual encounter to another in NOLA, there's always something to do, always something to see. You're never truly alone. And if you really pay attention, you'll realize just how true a statement that really is. So, we're amongst ghosts, spirits? Always. This is where our city began, so maybe the most ghosts would be here. Okay. The connection between the living and the dead here in New Orleans. Talk to me about that. Cities of the dead, right in the midst of the cities of the living. We don't hide them away. We even dance with the dead in New Orleans. Uh, so of course there's a connection. The physical body may be buried, but the spirit lives on. Bloody Mary is alive and well, and apparently living in the Big Easy. She pounds the pavements and provides captivating tours of the city's haunted and sordid historical past. I love that we're in New Orleans and you're taking me to a restaurant for food and to hang out with ghosts. It's the New Orleans no, way. The spirits, they don't want to leave, you know? And at Muriel's restaurant in the French Quarter, the ghosts have been a fixture for centuries. Like one, Mr. Pierre Antoine Leopardi Jordan. Poker was his game, and he was in a game one night. He lost everything, including his shirt, and there was only one thing left to put on the table, and he foolishly put the deed to this house. He was sure the hand would win, but it did not. He came home that night, kissed his wife and children, climbed the outside stairs here, and ah. killed himself. Um, That's intense. Yeah. So I'm going to have you tell me the story. I'm a teacher, so to speak, a facilitator to help you see with more than your eyes. Because it's important to tap in on your psychic abilities in that part of you. We all are psychic in one way or another. I want you to tell me a story, so don't think, let it flow. Can you get an idea of a visual of someone who might be here, young, old? Um, I'm gonna say young. Gert. Yeah? Like, Anything about looks? Brown hair? Yeah, okay, good, good. Short, long? Long. Yes. Her name is Julie, and she wanted nothing more than to marry the man that she was so in love with and bear his children. When he told her in jest that he'd marry her in the morning, if she spent the night in the roof, she did it. And she froze to death. So this is our Romeo and Juliet she story. She froze you, you, to death. Established as a city in 1718, New Orleans has seen its fair share of death. The city's engulfed by cemeteries, a constant reminder of our own inevitable mortality. Is it a city of great life, too? Oh, obviously, New Orleans is a party town. The spirits like to party in their own way. <laughs> They're attracted to the energy. They need the energy to manifest. We talk about them. We feed them. We decorate them. We walk and miss them and drive and miss them every day. We don't forget. Not in New Orleans. Mm -hmm. 